To this now, Tourism Minister Patricia De Lille has advised the South African Tourism Board to cancel the Tottenham Hotspurs deal. De Lille was briefing the media regarding the Hotspurs and South African tourism sponsorship proposal earlier today. The controversial deal proposed a payment of close to 1 billion rand to the Premier Soccer League team over the course of three years. Patricia De Lille, Minister of Tourism, joining us on the line now. Minister, thank you very much. Um, you say you got legal advice I I'd love to know uh, would you have responded in this way if there had not been a furore uh, there was a, a real backlash from society against this or did you independently feel that there may be something wrong here no 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 Francis <laughs> you must remember I'm just there for two weeks and 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 I've inherited uh, this um, um, Tottenham deals uh, a proposal. It was on my desk when I arrived. And when I arrived, after my appointment, I immediately sought and obtained legal advice on the Tottenham matter. And then I was advised uh, that um, there are three reasons why uh, the proposed uh, um, deal is unlawful and invalid. I then uh, I, I took those uh, reasons and I wrote to the board uh, on the 22nd of March. And I said to them, they must respond by the 29th of March, um, which they responded partially this morning. But the questions that I want the board to, the, uh, to, to, to answer is that, um, has the Tottenham deal been formally cancelled? And if so, I've asked for proof of this. Um, and does the board regard the Tottenham deal as a form of sole source procurement? And if so, has the board been, um, they must explain such a procurement to me. And then because of such a significant uh, transaction, which triggered the need for my prior approval, uh, I've asked them, uh, will the board request my approval and when? And I've also questioned them around the budget, whether it has been budget for in the 22-23 financial year. So I yeah. felt that uh, based on the legal advice and uh, the information that I was able to gather in the past uh, two weeks, that... Um, I, uh, the, my advice to the board is that um, the board, that this, uh, this proposal um, must be stopped completely. So when I received the f final responses from the board on the 29th of March, um, then I'll be able to make another announcement. But I mm. first had to source the document, Francis, because I can't just go on what was in the media. I needed the official documents to apply my mind. Sure, and, and we're also all waiting to find out if this has now been cancelled. But uh, I you... can agree with you, Francis. If it was not that in um, uh, the, 20, I think the 30th of January, that there was this expose uh, by the Daily Maverick, I don't think we would have been where we are today. And also, of course, the massive public outcry um, outside there. And every day that is waiting to find out how far uh, the process is. And that's why I decided today to have the pressure to inform um, South Africans and the media where we are with the process. Could, could you explain, you say you've advised the Tourism Board to cancel the deal. What if they don't? What, do you have the power as, as minister to demand that? Well, if they, um, if they don't want to cancel, um, I will have to seek, uh, I would have to go to court to stop it. Um, based on the legal advice uh, that I've received that, that, uh, that it's um, invalid and unlawful. Um, and then there's no, I haven't seen any contract. So as far as I'm concerned, unless I see the contract uh, that, that was signed already, 
uh, this is still a proposal then that's still, you know, in 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 the system. Um, so it's difficult. I think by by Wednesday, the 29th of March, we we will be able uh, to finalize this completely. Yeah. But for now, my advice stands for them to stop the process. Do you have a relationship, say, with, I think it was the acting CEO who came out guns blazing um, about this deal when it was criticized? Uh, and and would he or any official be in the possible firing line because of this proposal that could have become a deal? Uh, Francis, uh, the South African Tourism Board is an entity established in terms of the Tourism Act uh, and, and is accountable to the Department of uh, Tourism. Um, we gave to the South African Tourism Board at least 59% of the total budget of the Tourism Department, it's over 1.5 billion. And therefore, I will be held accountable uh, through Parliament. And, and, and therefore, in terms of my oversight role, I can give them advice. So I'm interacting with the chairperson of the board directly, not with the, the management of SA Tourism, because the a board, in terms of their own fiduciary duties, they also have got um, uh, responsibility. So, so that is where I'm at that level that I'm engaging with right. SA Tourism. Minister, yeah. we're, we're running out of time, but I think that the whole debate raised two very important things. You know, some South Africans were saying, what about grassroots uh, soccer development? What about getting South Africans to the Olympics where they can hold the flag up high? Should South African tourism or the tourism department worry about the bigger issues or, or only um, stay in its lane of tourism? And should we be marketing the company uh, the country um, aggressively when we have internal issues so people may come and then they may experience potholes and load shedding uh, an influential sports a reporter wrote recently about shakedowns at Oatambo International do we deal with those things first I agree with you that we need to find the balance we already have the economic reconstruction and the recovery plan announced by President Namaposa in October of 2020. Uh, and we, we must implement that plan. And that plan is all inclusive to grow the sector, but also to create jobs. A second document that's very important is a, uh, it's a cabinet uh, strategy to, um, um, uh, um, to drive the recovery of tourism after COVID-19. In there, again, there are targets that need to be achieved, that need to be implemented. And as part of the whole sector, it is all inclusive of skills development, of, 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 of being inclusive, looking at small, medium enterprises. There are a whole range of things where money could be spent on that will have a broader impact on society as a whole. And hopefully we can chat about this debate in future. Thank you very much for your time, yes, Minister you, of Tourism, Patricia DeLille.